so that is just disappointing. My eyes are burning. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paige Lynn 101 here, and today I'm gonna be doing a full face of Tarte makeup. Now, most of these makeup products I already had, I actually already had all of them. Most of them are trial size samples because I've gotten them from subscription boxes or other things, and I didn't necessarily wanna go out and buy anything, especially right now with all the COVID-19 things going on. So I was gonna film this video in my bathroom, but it's really loud upstairs. It's raining where I live and you can hear it from the bathroom and my brother's listening to music. So right now I'm filming in my mom's office and my like filming room, except it's not that yet. So it might be a little echoey because it is a small space. So just let me know how it is in the comments and if you guys like me filming here or if you guys want me to move somewhere else. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be using is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Primer. It's just this little sample. I literally just showed you guys the back. This is the front. <laughs> um, I think it has such a cute little packaging. I know this is a sample, but I think the like full size looks similar. And it just says Quench. It's a hydrating primer. So I'm just going to use this. I'm going to apply it to my full face since it's a hydrating primer. I think it's supposed to go on your full face. I'm not a big makeup person, so let me know. All right, so just taking it my hand it's this like light blue color sorry i'm looking at my mirror which is behind my camera um but yeah it's this light blue color which is cool but it's translucent um okay a little bit goes a long way which is definitely good it smells like fresh i i like it i don't really know because i haven't put makeup on it before but i have used this primer before um and it's gone well all right, next I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and it's in tan sand. It's called a water foundation and it has SPF in it. Like this is, is this not the cutest packaging? Okay, why do I keep showing you guys like the side of it? Okay, but yeah, I think the packaging is super cute so I'm just gonna put it on my face. All right, so it has this thing. I think it's like a little dropper and I'm just gonna drop it onto parts of my face. Like I said, my mirror is behind me. So, and I have used this before and it's just a little sample. So not really sure how much is left, but I have another one if we need it. Okay, so I definitely like this foundation. I have used it before, but something I don't like about the packaging is that it has like a little dropper because I feel like the dropper when I'm running low on foundation, like I kind of am now because this is just such a small size, it doesn't like pick up all the parts from the bottom. So I'd have to go in with like a little brush to get that all out. But it definitely spreads really well. Um, something we can see about the test of how like full coverage it is if it covers this little scar I have. I think it is pretty sheer coverage, but I really like that in a foundation. I would, yeah, I would definitely say it's sheer coverage um, i'm gonna check if it's buildable for you guys usually i would just be fine with this amount but i am gonna check if it's buildable because i know you guys might be interested in that all right like i said a little bit goes a long way so i don't feel like i need a ton of this but i do really like it and this color is like it looks pretty light but i feel like it blends out to a really good color for me okay oh i maybe it's a little light <laughs> All right, so I would say this isn't super buildable. I would say this is a lighter coverage foundation. I personally really like that, but I know a lot of people like a more full coverage foundation. If that's you, I don't think this is the foundation for you, but I personally really like this. All right, next up for concealer, I have the Tarte Shape Tape. As you guys can see, this is like way too dark for me. I must've gotten this in the summer. This is way too dark, but I still wanna try it out for you guys. So I'm gonna try to mix it with a concealer that's like way too light for me. And we're gonna try to mix them so yeah all right so the other concealer i'm using is this smashbox studio skin 24 hour waterproof concealer okay on camera like my face looks a lot lighter than the rest of me but in real life it looks a lot better and this like concealer also looks too dark for me on camera but Actually, it might just be my color, so I might not even be able to add the Tarte Shave Tape. I'll try to add a little bit and we'll see how it looks. 
I literally have no clue what the pattern I'm doing with my concealer is. It's really weird. I'm not a beauty guru. Um, but I have used the Tarte Shape Tape in the past and you really don't need a lot. Like a little bit goes a super long way. So I'm going to use this like Beauty Blender Mini to blend that. I'm just going to mix them together first. Okay, beauty crews are crying right now when they watch my video. Okay, both these um, concealers blended together really nicely, which I am happy about. Yeah, I feel like the Tarte Shape Tape from using this in the past, it is super, super full coverage. It literally covers anything. If you have like acne, I would definitely recommend this for you if you want to cover it. I definitely really like this. I don't find it decrease that much, but I know other people have, but I personally really like it. As long as you set it, I don't find that it creases for me. All right, so next up I have the Tarte Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. And I know you guys might say, Paige, this is a moisturizer. But on their website, it says you can put it on top of your cheeks as a highlighter. And I don't know if that means over makeup, but I'm just going to do it, okay? If it doesn't work, oops. But I'm doing it before my powder since this is like a liquid thing. And usually moisturizer takes off makeup, so we're going to see how this works. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. I can't. You definitely can't. Okay, you can't see it, but just trust me, it's like, I'd say it's kind of glittery, which I don't love in a highlight, um, but I'm just going to put it on my cheeks. Okay, I just like put it so low. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's taking anything off, but I'm not really like rubbing it on. I'm just kind of patting it. This is, this is nice. This worked out better than I thought. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. Guys, I am not a beauty guru. Okay, so I feel like this is like in between natural and like a super bright highlighter. I would say it's more on the natural side, but I personally really like it and it worked a lot better than I thought, especially on top of my foundation. Okay, so I didn't have like a setting powder from Tarte, so I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, but yeah, that's just what I'm going to be using since I don't have a setting powder. All right, so I just finished setting my face. I didn't show you guys that because I'm not using a Tarte product for that. Next, I'm going to go to my cheeks and I'm going to do blush. Now, this is what their blush looks like. This is like their smaller travel size one, but the full size one is similar. It's just bigger. This is my favorite bl blush ever. It's in the shade Unstoppable. I've used this so much, like the gold. This usually looks like this. See how it's like gold here? Yeah, usually it looks like that, but I've used this so much it's rubbed off. So I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. And I'll show you guys the newer one that I haven't used as much. And you guys can see like it comes with this super cute pattern on the inside. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And this one's in the shade Feisty, but I'm going to be using the shade Unstoppable. All right, so I'm going to be taking this Luxie 524T brush. Guys, I'm not a beauty guru, okay? I'm going to say that so many times. I'm not a beauty guru. Um, and I'm just going to put it on my cheeks. All right, guys, I also just want to say sorry about the lighting. I am in a different space than I would use, and there wasn't enough room for my ring light in here. Um, so yeah, but I hope it's okay for you guys. Okay, next up, I'm going to put on this blush from Tarte. It has this, like, really cool, like, snakeskin alligator, like, texture, and it's in the shade Park Avenue Princess, and it is um, the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. Now, I have used this before, but, like, a really long time ago, and, yeah, like, I remember it is, like, shimmery, um, which I don't personally love for bronzer, and I do feel like this might be, like, my skin color, so I don't know if it's going to do the whole bronzing thing. We're still going to put it on to see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to put it on with this brush from Crown. It doesn't have a number, unfortunately, um, but, yeah, I just usually use this as my brush brush, brush, brush. My bronzer, oh my gosh, my bronzer brush. I struggled so much with saying that. Subscribe. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, I don't really see anything coming off. But honestly, that's probably just because it's literally my skin color. So that's probably why, because I know people love this um, 
bronzer. I'm like, I'm really getting in there. I'm really getting in there. Like I can see it on my brush. All right, so I know people love this. I personally wouldn't use this again, but that's because it is my skin color. So it doesn't work as a bronzer for me. Oh my goodness. I mix up blush and bronzer, like the words. Does anyone else do that? Please tell me I'm not alone. Um, but yeah, I, I would probably like this if it was a darker shade, but since it's not, I can't really tell. All right, guys, so next up, I'm gonna be doing mascara. I don't wear eyeshadow. I don't really know how to apply it, um, so I'm not gonna be putting that on or eyeliner for you guys. I also don't have it, so I'm not gonna use it, but as you guys could tell in my prom video, I told you guys I don't know how to apply eyeshadow. If you guys wanna see me try to one day, just let me know, but I have no clue how to apply it, so I'm just not going to. But yeah, we're gonna go on to mascara, and I have two mascaras to try out. Um, I have the Tarte Lifted sweat proof mascara and i think this is like the cutest packaging ever and i have the tarts the tart light camera action mascara which is like a classic i think i'm gonna go with this one because i have used the sweat proof one and i didn't love it but i haven't tried out this one so i'm gonna try it out and let you guys know what i think all right so i just cut my eyelashes now i am gonna apply this Okay, this one seems kind of dry and I'm pretty sure I've never opened it. Um, so if you guys have used this before, just let me know if it's dry for you guys too or if mine is just dried out. Okay, so like nothing's coming off. I think it's dried out, so I'm going to be using the sweat proof one. Okay, this sweatproof mascara is in um, a brown shade. Wait, what the heck? Okay, this one's dried out too. Okay, I'm gonna try to find another one. All right, so I have one more mascara from Tarte. Luckily, I found one. Um, this is the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I'm out of breath because <laughs> I just went down like two flights of stairs, so. I'm gonna try this one. Please don't be dried out. Okay, are you serious? Okay, our tart mask here is just dried out. Is it like, I swear I just went through three. Like, I have, I don't know if I've ever used these mascaras before. So I'm kind of disappointed. Is that just me or our tart mascara is super dried out? Like, okay, what the heck? Maybe I'll go try to find one more, um, but other than that, I, I'm just gonna have to use a different one. All right, so I couldn't find another one. Also, my eyes are like low-key burning. Like, my eyes are burning. <laughs> um, but that was before I put on the mascara, so it wasn't from the mascara I just put on, which was the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I could not find another Tarte mascara. Let me know if you guys have experienced this, because like, that's so disappointing that all three that I tried were dried out and I don't think I've like ever used those or maybe they've opened once but they were all closed really tight and they're not that old so I'm just kind of confused uh let me know if you guys have had the same experiences below next I'm gonna do my eyebrows I unfortunately don't have um any eyebrows from Tarte so I'm gonna be using an Anastasia brow gel brow gel um, but yeah, I'll come back after I do that. All right, so last thing we have to do is lips. And I have two lipsticks from Tarte. Um, I have this Tarte Lip Sculptor lipstick in the shade Intoxicating. It's a lipstick and a lip gloss. So this is the lipstick. And then this is what the gloss looks like. And then I also have this Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea lipstick in living and i think i'm gonna go with this one because it's a more neutral color so i'm just gonna go with that all right guys so this is the finished look i took my hair down for dramatic effect 
and this is what the lipstick looks like on i love this lipstick i've used it before i think the color is amazing and it pretty much goes with everything kind of matches my shirt which is cute um but i definitely love tarte but it depends on the product um i feel like a lot of these products were hits like i love the foundation i love the concealer if it was my shade i loved the primer i love the blush um but then there were some duds like the bronzer was a dud but that was more because it wasn't my shade um but the mascara was definitely a dud it was super disappointing it was kind of a fail like i tried three mascaras and they just were all dried out please let me know if this has happened to you um, but yeah, so that was kind of annoying that I tried three different ones and they were all dried out. They meant that may be my fault. Um, but like I said, I don't think I've used any of them before. So that is just disappointing. But anyway, this is the finished look. I do like it. It's very simple, like a very simple everyday kind of look. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me know what you guys think of it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you guys thought of it down below. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, like this video anyway. Also, please consider subscribing. I would love that as well as turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post. All right. Love you guys. Bye.